I did as you told me, Tyriel. I found the temple of the Zakarum. In the deepest recesses of the temple, I found a dark gathering. My companion, the Wanderer, Talrasha, and a great evil who could only be the Lord of Hatred himself, Mephisto. I heard a voice then, like a thousand needles in my heart. My brothers, at long last we stand reunited. The Infernal Gate has been prepared, and the time of our final victory is at hand. Let the way to hell be open. And the evil that was once vanquished shall rise anew. Wrapped in the guise of man shall he walk amongst the innocent, and terror shall consume they that dwell upon the earth. The skies shall rain fire, and the seas will become as blood. The righteous shall fall before the wicked, and all creation shall tremble before the burning standards of hell. What I saw then was not meant for mortal eyes. The gate stands ready. Time has come to assume your true form. And welcome to hell. Oh, man. This is probably not a good sign, huh? Doesn't look very hellish around here, does it? Even when I turn on the map, it turns out this is the Pandemonium Fortress. Huh. Now, as you can see, uh, this is Act 4 of 5. The, right, the fifth one's the expansion set. So this one's not very long. It's only three uh, waypoints. And in terms of quests, it's only got three quests. You know, we finished everything else off here. Uh, apparently I never went back to show that I finished that one, but we finished everything here, except for Act 4, which is the final act of the uh, the main game, the, the original game. Uh, let's talk to Deckard Kane. I'm sure he has something he wants to say, and then we'll talk to the glowy thing in a second. Stay a while. He doesn't listen. have anything to say? Really? Deckard Kane? We just made it to hell. You don't have anything to say? You'll identify my stuff, though. Let's go talk to Tyriel again. You guys remember Tyriel? How could you forget Tyriel? It is good to see you again, hero. Mephisto's defeat is a great victory for the Light. I knew that you would eventually find your way here. The Pandemonium Fortress is the last bastion of Heaven's power before the gates of the Burning Hells. This place has been hallowed by the blood of thousands of champions of the Light, many of whom were mortal like yourself. Now, the final battle against the prime evils draws near, and you must face it alone. 
I have been forbidden to aid you directly, save for a few bits of wisdom. For this is the hour of mortal man's triumph. Your triumph. May the light protect you, and the powers of heaven shine upon your path. There is a dark, tortured soul who was trapped within this forsaken realm long ago. He was called Iswal by mortal men, and in ages past he was my most trusted lieutenant. Yet against my wishes, he led an ill-fated assault upon the fiery Hellforge itself. Despite his valor and strength, Iswal was captured by the prime evils and twisted by their perverse powers. They forced him to betray his own kind and give up Heaven's most guarded secrets. He became a corrupt shadow of his former self. A fallen angel, trusted neither by Heaven nor Hell. For his transgressions, Iswal's spirit was bound within the form of a terrible creature, which was summoned from the Abyss. His maddened spirit has resided within that tortured husk for many ages now. It seems to me that he has suffered long enough. I implore you, hero. Find his wall and release him from his cruel imprisonment. Put an end to his guilt and suffering. Alright, so that's a lot of information he gave us. Uh, basically, he can't help. Go help his friend, though. Uh, his friend is Iswal in the Plains of Despair. <laughs> Sounds awesome. Uh, do you have anything to say now, Deckard Kane? No? I swear... I swear he would. Alright, let's go down here. Uh, they... Okay, well, Tyrael resurrects uh, your... Your mercenary if he dies, but you can't get new mercenaries here. There are no mercenaries in Act 4, just the ones you bring with you. This over here is Halbu. What do you need? They have nothing to say, these people. As you can see, the talk is not even an option. Uh, this is going to be the guy where you can trade and repair. We can sell this because this isn't going to be good for anybody. Uh, there, he, he does have uh, a lot of the standard equipment from the guy that repairs usually. Uh, we do have some new equipment. Uh, the Greaves, uh, full metal, uh, I guess boots, uh, different from the light plated boots. Oh, damn. How good are those? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna stick with the half freeze duration and the fire resist for now. That might change though. We, we do have plated belt. I don't know if we've gone over plated belts because I haven't even found a good heavy belt yet. Uh, what, what is this? Extra gold. What am I even holding on to that for? Poison, poison. We're gonna go with these, actually. Uh, I do need. I have needed an upgrade for quite some time. This four eight six two. Yeah, it's still an upgrade. Uh, to having the heavy belt or the plated belt does give you a. F oh, I guess it's just the plated belt. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, there is, a, if you get a plated belt, uh, you get the, the fourth line up here. I swore the heavy belts did it too, though, but I was wrong. I was wrong. Uh, crowns are still here. Field plates, uh, I believe, if we haven't seen before, this is what they look like. Uh, great helms are definitely uh, something we've seen before. Uh, tower shields. Uh, gothic shields are huge. I don't have the strength for them right now. Uh, gothic plates are also very nice. Uh, once again, don't have the strength for them. And they're not actually better than what Alhazir has got equipped right now. Uh, flails, war hammers, everything here I believe we have seen before. War axes, uh, mauls. Oh, we, have, we haven't we have seen a great maul. It's just a giant hammer. I don't understand how it's an upgrade from the regular maul, but that's just me. Uh, this these are all the same as far as I can tell from burges, uh, bastard swords, uh, speedums, uh, no brandish stocks, but a pike. Pikes are usually really good for your mercenary if you can find a good one. And then over here we have Jamela. Do Once again, need? doesn't have anything to say. You can gamble with Jamela, and she's also the one that's going to sell you uh, the greater healing potions, uh, keys, which I think I'm good on for now. Uh, there's not going to be too many uh, locked chests in hell. Uh, not for a while, at least. Uh, she also sells some of the stuff that uh, you could have gotten in the last town, it looks like. Uh, but then she also has all the magic weapons that I will be checking occasionally. This is probably the only thing that I'm going to be checking. Uh, that... No, I'm good with that, what I got. Still looking for a good war scepter. 
uh, blades and battle staffs, war staffs. I believe all the rest is the same. I don't think there's any upgrades. Okay. With that all said, we are ready to head into hell. Outside heaven's one lone bastion. Into the outer steps. Where we already find flesh spawners and upgraded lurkers. We have... Uh, these are cliff lurkers. If you could start getting some damage in Alice, that'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, these flesh spawners do give rise to the flesh beasts, uh, which is what we saw come out of um, the Dark Wanderer when we started Act 3. And we have Doom Knights, entirely new enemies. Those guys, uh, some of their upgrades I'm not a big fan of, although technically they could be uh, different enemies. Okay, I don't know if you guys saw that, but I actually kicked open the trapped soul here. Uh, here's another one. These are the uh, treasure chests of this this area. You kick it. I'll, I'll show it again when the Doom Knights are not in my way. Get out of my way, Doom Knight. And we do have our first super healing potion. Uh, it looks a little bit different. Uh, everything's on, you know, it's full compared to the greater healing potion, which is not, and it heals. How much does it heal? 480 health as opposed to 270. I'm going to be going for mostly super heals from now on. Here's another trap soul. Uh, hopefully nobody's around to ruin what it looks like. You kick him, he goes flinging back. And if uh, you hear a... Uh, a creek or anything like that uh, that signifies a trap uh, there's only one kind of trap that you can get from, from those and it's uh, uh, he lights himself on fire pretty much uh, I don't know if he does that to himself or I, I doubt he does but that's all that happens to him because there's tortured souls <laughs> fire shrine uh, everybody stand back Ugh, why did I do that why did I do that I think I had it confused with uh Poison Shrine. I'm like, oh, don't give me something. Oh, and we have Doom Casters. Doom Casters are pretty much upgraded rates of ghosts or however you want to say we were fighting them before. Um, God. Not a fan of those. Do we have uh, super mana potions, but no super uh, healing potions? I'm not too concerned about uh, picking those up. These. Okay, Al Hazir already killed them. Uh, so I can't show them off. These are trapped souls as well, except they are enemies. When you go into them, they will attack you. Attacking them usually can give you some, uh, some gold or stuff. So, you know, just like a regular enemy, feel free to take them out. Uh, I'll, your, your mercenary will do it if, if you don't. Uh, you don't have to, uh, if you're starting to feel bad, uh, you're probably in the wrong game. Uh, I'm going to go for the nice strategy of going all the way around again. Uh, and then filling in the middle when I can. Uh, because we are on steps, of course, which are, uh, well, I only know steps in, uh, in Asia. I assume there are other steps in the world, but, uh, they're, uh, it's like a low, gradual either climb or descent, depending on which way you're traveling. Uh, but elevation is going to be changing as you go through the steps. Uh, this is uh, an open uh, chest again. I believe it is still called a trap soul. Uh, we'll, we'll encounter one of those with a guy chained up inside. And uh, you'll see that it's a treasure chest. Uh, this is also a treasure chest of sorts. It's a pillar. You smash it open. Now, we were told uh, that Iswal... I always said it is wool, but Iswal is actually in the Plains of Despair. We are not there yet. We're in the Outer Steps. It is the next field that we'll be going to, though. So it shouldn't be too much longer. And I should be able to handle it very soon. I don't remember Iswal being that difficult. A uh, giant sword we have seen before. Uh, but he does have a ton of health. I remember that. Remember that. Okay. Oh, some more super heals. Nice. I will be eventually replacing all of these. And you can go away. I don't I don't care what you have on you. You are ethereal and a flail. And therefore Al Hazir cannot use you. Now you could technically uh, use um, an ethereal item until it breaks. You know, just uh, just know that it's gonna be temporary. I've never been a fan of that, um, I haven't found anything that was ethereal that good that I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna hold on to this until it breaks. Uh, it just doesn't seem worth the, the switch and, and having to remember that kind of stuff. That's just me, though. There was a, a pillar over here. Uh, nothing good. Go ahead and kill that. Another trapped soul. 
Uh, did you hear it, Creek? Uh, these guys, uh, when there's two of them, they also do poison, but the, the other ones... Oh, great. We got more tortured souls just everywhere around here. It's very creepy around here, I must say. This guy can only do fire. He doesn't do uh, poison. This is the way to the next area, so we're going to avoid that for now. I just beat him upside the head. I put him out of their misery by knocking him out, I think. Uh, bone chests! More treasure chests. There are lots of creepy kinds of treasure chests around here who stuffed gold into that I don't know but they for some reason did let's keep going oh. uh, the enemies around here they don't give me too bad uh, too big of a problem I should say too bad of a problem I guess worse as well but didn't sound bad to me it's not too bad around here uh, the enemies, uh, of course, whenever you go to the act, the next act, it's usually a small downgrade uh, from the enemies that you were facing before. They want you to relax a little bit more now that you're in a new area uh, to give you more of a feel of what it's like to, to be in the area instead of uh, so overly concerned with killing everything using tactics, at least the first time through. But I think I've noticed that in the, the later difficulties as well. Uh, that when you start, when you, when you first get to the next act, it's it's a little easier than what you were doing. You know, nothing too bad. Uh, am I on the right equipment? I am. Good. Okay. I'm on my primary equipment. That's what I wanted to know. Damn. That frost nugget is kicking in. That, that stuff is awesome. You can start freezing enemies. But we'll get, we'll get something to, to freeze enemies eventually, and by eventually I mean in a different playthrough. But we're, well, I still plan on doing that. I don't know how well that's going to work out, when I'm going to be able to do that. It's not fully set up yet. How's my amulet? Damn good. I'll take a look at this though. Plus 7 to life. Why did I even look? Seriously, that was crap. How'd you do? You did good, but all you got was a maw. Therefore, I am not impressed. I was about to say, is that a waypoint in here? But I don't know. There's no waypoint in the outer steps. There are very few waypoints. The waypoints are a little bit more spread out here, I think. Uh, maybe that's because it takes you a little longer to kill enemies around here. Uh, that could just be me, though. Uh, yeah, just on the, the mini-map, it kind of looked like a... Kind of looked like a, a, a waypoint, but I know it can't be one around here. Another greater healing potion. Don't care about your graders anymore. Oh, we got a small little battalion over here. Just hanging out. Oh, whatever. My blessed hammer died over on the right. Last for me. How dare you? Everything's taking a little bit longer to kill, but it, yeah, they're not nearly as tough. Um, I, we'll start getting more level ups. Uh, getting more. Uh, concentration, so hopefully we can start going through these guys a little bit faster. But for right now, we are going, I think, you know, it feels a little slow to me. A little slow in terms of how fast I'm killing these. I'm trying to use the buzzard hammer to speed it up, but they're not giving me very many opportunities to bust it out. And there we go. Over there, you can see the, the treasure chest I was speaking of before. Oh, that flesh spawners. Here's a hung skeleton, not called a tortured soul. Uh, but when you drop him, he had stuff, I don't know, behind him, inside of him. I don't know specifically where it is. I try not to look when I open him up. Uh, but we have almost made it fully around the first area here. Maybe I'm just thinking that it's, uh, it's going slow because I I'm comparing it to the Durance of Hate. But I do want to get through this as soon as possible, like I said, I am um, heading uh, for, for, for hopefully at least um, this uh, Act 4 shouldn't be a problem to get done on time, uh, but I might need to do something that I, I didn't really want to do, but I might have to. Uh, Diablo 2 Marathon last weekend before, uh, before Diablo 3 date you know, goes live on the 15th. I might have to do that. Uh, it shouldn't be too many videos. I mean, we're not talking about, like, 10 videos in a video or anything like that. Uh, but if I have to do that, you know, in order to get it done on time, I think, I, I, I sh you know, it shouldn't be too bad uh, 
uh, for you guys. Like I said, I'm, uh, it's close. It's going to be close on whether or not I'm going to get this done in time, uh, just naturally. So, uh, just adding a, a couple more videos on uh, per day on the weekend um, to to make sure that I get Act Five done. I should also be able to do the cow level, um, which is the bonus dungeon. I know I just said I didn't want to give it away, but that's just the name of it. Surely it means nothing. So I'm sure that you guys didn't catch it. Uh, I, I will. I'll, I'll try to do the bonus dungeon, the secret dungeon as well, in the uh, in the little splurge of videos if I have to. Uh, but hopefully, depending on how fast I can get through all these, it, it shouldn't be a problem because we are talking about you know a couple hours of of footage between uh, now and and when. Diablo 2 comes out at, at this, or Diablo 3, sorry, at the speed that I'm already going. So, uh, w who knows how long, how long it's going to take me to go through this? I'm sure you guys have an inclination, but shouldn't be, you know, I would, I would assume a couple hours is, is a good estimate. So, it could be very close, very close. I do know that um, Act 5, the expansion, is kind of ridiculously long. Where the hell did you guys come from? I just came from that way. Freaking Doom Knight's following me around forever, apparently. Got another super heal. Nice. How are... You're crap. I don't need... I don't need you. I want nothing to do with you. Another greater heal. Freaking the spawners, man. I've never been a fan of the spawners, and of course it moves up right as my hammer is going around to kill it. It's like it has an intelligence of some kind, some artificial kind. There, die. Ugh. Damn it, there's so many of these things. I hate them so much. They are one of the troll things in this game. Alright. Uh, 14 to life, 23 to attack rating. I don't know, that's close. That's close, but I, I do need the fire resist. Every, tons of things in hell have uh, have fire damage on them. So you want to keep an eye out for fire. Alright, let's just finish up this side over here real fast. Then we can start heading over to the east, which should lead us ultimately to the next place, uh, which I've already kind of given away is the Plains of Despair. But, you know, considering that this place isn't that big, hell isn't that big, uh, you have to assume that, you know, the next place you're going to go is the next place on the waypoint, the next place on the quest, that kind of stuff. Trap soul, open. Yeah, he lit himself on fire and then release the shield. It's a very strange concept that they got for that. But what are you going to do when you're tortured? You're going to come up with weird things, I guess. I don't know what he did to get down here, but uh, I'm sure he deserved it. Do not feel bad for the hung skeleton. Don't kick him or... Ow. Don't feel bad kicking him, because they have definitely earned whatever it was that that the punishment that they're getting is. I don't know what it was they did, though. I don't know, is it like Dantean? You know, like you're... Like you buried somebody alive and therefore you become one of those guys? I assume there weren't that many people that buried other people alive, though. And is there really nothing up here? What was that? Flat Sapphire, I would take it. Another skull. Oh, Ethrune. Almost missed the Ethrune. Almost missed it, but I didn't. So we are now ready to move on to, to resist more fire, which is always nice because there's tons of fire, like, like I said. Uh, so we are ready to move on already to the Plains of Despair. Where we really have new enemies. These are corpulents. And they're surrounded by uh, more of these burning souls. The burning souls, they have this tendency to uh, not disappear, but act in a way that you can't really hit them. And they also drain mana, just like the ghosts in the base that we were fighting before. Are you serious? Why, why are you so beefy, ghostly? Man, this guy's taking forever to lie down. He finally goes. Okay. Uh, heavy I gloves? That's all you're gonna give me. I don't even want them. Heavy gloves. Good lord. 
Super heels. Take it. I'm quickly running out of room here. Alright, let's put everything that I can't. I've been picking up is small. Really? Oh, I saw the maiden spear in there. Oh, Venom Lords! Uh, yeah, here's more fire damage. Hooray. And I am out of mana again. Damn you guys. I hate those guys. And they just suddenly disappear and reappear out of nowhere a lot of times, it seems. Ah, oh, see, look, there he was. Did you see him? I bet you didn't. He just ran right by me. And then they cast the lightning from way over there, so once again, they have to prove me wrong. There is definitely lightning damage further on in this game than Act 2, but it's nothing serious, to be honest with you. It's nothing like beetles. Beetles are the worst thing. Uh, every everybody I know that has played this game is like, those beetles, man, the beetles. <laughs> Alright, uh, small charm. Not that great. Not that great at all. Once again, I'm going to try to go around the outside, around the outside, around the outside, uh, but I should be able to find uh, at least the quest guy soon, if not the way forward. Everything around here is taking forever to kill. Forever, man. Oh, jeez. There you go, I got most of them. The Venom Lords, though, know, they do deal a ton of fire damage, so if you don't have fire resistance, I have a decent amount. It's not that great, though. I should have better. Uh, yeah, magic damage reduced. I have tons of poison, but that's about it. Give me more mana. God, all this stuff is small, too. That's the crazy thing. It's so small. Oh, you're still alive. Why aren't you dead yet? Yeah, the fire damage. I need more fire resist at any given time. Just so much fire. There you go. I was scared. I was trying to use tactics on him. I don't know why that was set in particular, but I was definitely trying to use tactics. Now these guys, yeah, it, like it says in their description, it... They eat and spit corpses. Uh, when they do, it, it does a lot of damage to you if they hit you with that spit out corpse. Um, so don't let them, you know, when they when they suck it up, just just run, I guess, or try to stay out of their way. It's not like life threatening, but you know, something to be something to keep in mind, like a topaz. Keep that in mind. Take it. Use it. I will eventually. Uh, oh, jeez, where are these guys? Just all of a sudden I stopped running. Oh, there's trap soul on me. Another amulet. Once again, these one, these one slot items. I'm happy for them, but... You know, as long as I keep fitting out, I don't feel the need to go back to town. What's over here? Oh, more of you douches. Don't you guys, you guys float off. You never want to fight me like men, and by men, I mean like in a way that I'm susceptible to killing you quickly. <laughs> Just, no, die. Thank you. Okay. Up here. Another hung skeleton. Surrounded by more of these guys. Will my hammer go through the hung skeleton? It does! Nice. I thought for sure it would be destroyed there. Go around, kill, maim, destroy. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. Oh, is he not dead yet? Come on. Kill him. Okay. Moving on. That's still nothing. Oh, shit. <gasps> and then run. And the freaking fire damage. There we go. Grim Wand. How's that Grim Wand? Ethereal and got nothing on it. How's the amulet? 21% chance of getting better items. Ugh, no. No. What I got is pretty damn good, I must admit. Okay, that's the way further on, but we're not done here by long shots. Speaking of long, there's a long sword. Uh, but I'm going to avoid it because it's not that great. The long swords haven't been doing well for me lately. So I'm going to ignore it. <laughs> 
Keep on taking on the corpulence. Yeah, there he was eating the corpse, if you guys saw that. But I killed him before he had a chance to spit it out, which is always a good place to be. <laughs> if you kill him before they can use their attack, that's always nice. Now, so we'll take them out. I need to switch over to my other weapon now, so I can get some of the uh, mana back a little bit faster. Mana per kill, please! Ah, uh, I didn't get the kill.